As you know, uh, Canada uh, issued a special sanctions permit that allows the import, repair, and, and re-export of up to six turbines over the next two years. But given the way that Gazprom and the Russians are dealing with the first turbine that has already been shipped to Germany, given the way they're playing games, and they're saying the turbine wasn't repaired properly in Montreal, and they're saying the documentation is, is not proper, and given the way they're trying to stymie even the delivery of this first turbine, would you reconsider, or should Canada reconsider this sanctions permit and scrap it to prevent the import and re-export of up to five more turbines because the Russians are just playing games? Well, this is a difficulty of this brutal war, that this is not a rational thing because otherwise we wouldn't have this war. So, therefore, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We don't know what's going to happen with uh, the other turbines. We just know that this turbine is now currently in Germany. All the papers are being fixed. It could be reinstalled uh, with regards to Nord Stream uh, 1. So, the ball lays uh, in the field of Russia. Yes, they are not uh, playing within the rules uh, of the normal uh, games, so therefore we follow every step uh, they are taking, but I would just like to underline what I've said before. He tried to split us. He tried to play games with us. And now the whole world can see crystal clear that he is just using energy as a gameplay. And on the other hand, I think Canada has made very clear that in this difficult situation, and the reality is as it is, that we are still depending not only in Germany, but in Europe, from Russian gas inputs, that uh, Canada is standing in solidarity with us Europeans, and I can just underline it. I'm very thankful for this, and I think our strongest weapon is the unity within this alliance. And again, we have shown as alliance that there's no chance, not a single inch, that Putin is successful in splitting us. I would. Um so first and foremost, this was a difficult decision to take. It was a difficult decision that uh, my colleague, Minister Wilkinson, and I consulted on a, a, about many occasions, including with our German counterparts, including with our Ukrainian counterparts, even fascinating conversation between Ukrainians and Germans. That was our goal. Our goal was to find a solution. That being said, I think, uh, the compelling argument that was presented uh, by the minister is, um, is the one that Canada decided to support because at the end of the day, we know that Putin is undergoing a hybrid war, which is yes, affecting uh, millions of Ukrainians in Ukraine, and at the same time, they're using their economic power to um, put pressure across the world, but particularly also in Europe. What we're seeing right now is Putin was trying to sow division within the alliance, within the G7, was trying also uh, to find a pretext, an alibi, uh, and in saying that it was because of the fault of the turbine, we called his bluff. It is now clear that Putin is weaponizing energy flows to Europe. The world sees through his game, and that's why we decided to make sure that we took a strong stance and a difficult decision by sending back the turbine directly to Germany. We see that there is an energy crisis happening in Europe, and uh, Canada is in solution mode. Obviously, we are willing to uh, see how we can provide solutions while keeping our strong um, commitment towards uh, climate change. And in that context, obviously, we're looking at how we can, uh, yes, work on liquefied natural gas, but at the same time, how can we work with, uh, issue, with uh, offering hydrogen and green hydrogen? I've had many conversations within uh, cabinet, uh, with the ministers of uh, natural resources, with the Minister of the Environment, and obviously with the Prime Minister. I've had numerous conversations also with different provinces within the country. 
um, and we need to continue to have uh, these conversations. At the same time, I would say that uh, Canada believes in small nuclear reactors. We've, uh, we've invested in it, but we think that we need to move on also even more on renewables, and we have commitments uh, to do so across the country. Of course, we're extremely concerned with the heightened tensions in the region. We've had a conversation uh, Anna Lena and I uh, about this. I also spoke to Secretary Blinken a couple of days ago regarding this very issue. Uh, of course, we're also very preoccupied by the um, threatening action that China is taking and their economic coercion. We think that um, legislators do visits around the world and um, Clearly, the visit cannot be used as a justification for heightened tensions or a pretext. And so in that sense, uh, we uh, call on China to de-escalate because we think that there may be risks of not only heightened tensions but also destabilizing the region.